Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and today I'm going to be doing a very much requested review of the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette. And this is for you Georgia and I hope that um, you can make up your mind, you can decide whether or not you want to buy the palette. And so as you can see, these are all or most of them are warm colors. Um, so what we're going to do, what I'm thinking of doing uh, for this video is I'm going to be giving you swatches and I'm going to be comparing them to other colors uh, or other eyeshadows from other brands uh, that whose colors might be very similar to the colors right here. Um, and, you know, as a person who has a gazillion palettes, uh, I was kind of, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to get this palette, but after using it, all I can say is three words, which is I love it. Um, it is not a perfect palette by any means, but um, there are enough things in there that I like for me not to regret purchasing this palette. So let's begin. So the very first color is Desert Sand. So Desert Sand is kind of a yellowy, peachy uh, eyeshadow. Uh, it doesn't have a hint of pink, so it's more on the peachy, yellowy, uh, mustard, even with a little hint of mustard uh, eyeshadow. So let's swatch it. So here is Desert Sand. Compare it to different colors that you might already have in your collection. The very first color is the Desert, desert Sand color that is in the Huda Beauty palette. Second color is Beaches and Cream, and third color is Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. So Beaches and Cream is more cream. It's not as yellow, it's not as orange as Desert Sand, and Peach Smoothie is a little bit more yellow than Beaches and Cream, but it's not as orange as Desert Sand. Now, if you already have uh, peaches and cream and peach smoothie desert sand is not really a necessity uh, but of course you can't just buy that one color but I'm just saying they're very similar very similar next color is musk this is musk right here on my knuckle so similar colors could be from the neutral matte um, from these Viseart and it would be this color over here at the very end but this color is darker and it is cooler so you can see that musk is a warmer color I think it has a little bit more of a red while the next color which is this one which is also from the Viseart uh, neutral matte palette is more red than any of the other two Next color is Eden. So Eden is really peachy. Here is Eden. I don't have any colors like this in my collection because I don't really like uh, peachy eyeshadow. Um, although I love this. For some reason now I'm, I'm liking this, um, but I don't really, I don't really like, you know, I don't have, I don't have the Too Faced uh, peachy, Peaches and Cream eyeshadow palette or whatever. I don't have any of those peachy palettes. So this is my only peach. If you have a lipstick by NYX called Indie Flick, it's very similar. Next is Amber. So now we get into the orangey colors. Okay, so since I love oranges, I've got so many oranges to compare this with. I can compare it to the Busy Art Neutral Matte, this orange right here. That is more yellow, more yellow, brighter orange. I can compare to the orange in the, uh, what's this called, the Dark Mattes palette from Busy Art also, and which is brighter than the Huda Beauty, so the Huda Beauty is at the top. Another orange from uh, Busy Art right here, these two, this one near my wrist is browner. The one right here, well, I can compare this to, um, so surprisingly, that's the most similar, the one near my, here. In the camera, it doesn't look very similar, but when you look at it, 
you know, like this, away from the camera, they do look very similar. What about from the Monarch palette by Kat Von D? This orange color from Kat Von D, that's right there, near my thumb. So it's not as red as the Huda Beauty one. For my Luxie Beauty, I've got lots and lots and lots of oranges. I've got two here from Luxie Beauty, and this is Terracotta, and this is Spice. Terracotta is brighter than Huda Beauty. Spice, of course, is darker. Here's another one from um, Luxie Beauty, Maple. Very similar, almost the same here versus this one. Versus this one. That I am having, you know, a field day with all these oranges. So what about the Busy, Busy Art Warm Mats here at the corner where my pinky is? Another orange. This is a little bit more yellow, but very similar. Okay, here this is uh, Huda. This is Busy Art. And, you know, come to think of it, a lot of the colors here in the Warm Mats by Vizier are very similar. You know, like these might be similar to Dark uh, Desert Sands right here. Very similar color. You know, this, this especially, this second one. These middle colors here, very similar. What I'm going to do is I'm going to compare all the oranges since I have them all swatched. So let's go with uh, Blazing this blazing right here. And so here is blazing here. So it's lighter and brighter than the original color right here, which is amber. Lighter and brighter than amber. Okay, here you compare this. And then you can compare it with all the Viseart color, Monarch, you know, the neutral matte, dark matte, all these colors, you can see they're very similar because oranges are now in fashion so everybody is coming up with their orange what is interesting is that you know uh, they would look different in the pan but when you swatch them they look the same so let me go to the next color which is blood moon and I'm gonna compare it to my Viseart uh, what's this called minx palette this color this is the theory palette so this is the so you can see it's yellower than this. This is more orange. This is the Huda Beauty Blood uh, Blood Moon, and this is yellower. Eat Pro by Viseart. There's this little teeny orangey color here. It's much more neutral. See, it's more pink, so it's not the same. I think that this color, this this amber, uh, a Blood Moon color, is very common. You can find this in a lot of palettes. You know. In varying tones, it could be a little bit more orange, a little bit more red or whatever, or lighter or whatever, but more or less the color is the same. So I don't really look for this color in any of the palettes because I have them in a, gaz a gazillion palettes. Although this um, color here is very creamy in the pan, which I like. The even, even in the Morphe palette, this is a 35U palette. I use this color here. My palette's upside down, so it's this color here and it's a very similar color but not exactly it doesn't have the luminosity the brilliance of the Huda Beauty see it's more subdued see this is the Huda Beauty this is the Morphe here here's Deja Vu from the Androgyny palette it's not the same it's more similar to the Morphe see this is Deja Vu from Androgyny so it's the same as the Morphe far from the Huda Beauty now we come to Oud, O-U-D, Oud. So Oud is a reddish brown, a warm reddish brown, or yeah, a warm reddish orangey brown. Here is the swatch, and I'll put it on my hand. And I can compare that to many, many colors again. We can compare to Dominatrix by Androgyny. I mean, the Androgyny 
a palette, Dominatrix, which is a cooler brown. It's not as red as you can see. I can compare it to the dark mattes again, Busy Art. It's similar, but not exactly because the Busy Art has a little bit more orange to it, whereas the Oud is more red. But very similar. You can use them, I think, interchangeably. People are not going to tell. Not going to be able to tell. If I compare to the dark mattes from um, Viseart, it's not the same at all. So never mind that. I can try and compare to Chicory by Luxy. Chicory is plummier and darker. So that's not it either. What about Mud by Venus and the Venus 2 palette by um, Lime Crime? Very similar. So the Venus 2 palette, Mud, is very similar to Huda Beauty. So if you have that, you know, very similar. Spice. Oh, here it is. The Spice color. This is the color I was going to compare it to. Oh, it's not the same because Spice is more orange. So the dupe for this oud color would probably be uh, the um, dark mattes from Viseart or the mud color from Lime Crime in the Venus 2 palette. Okay, let's do the next row, which is the second row. The middle row, we can do the middle row. So the first color is Celestial, which is a light gold. Um, this is actually a duochrome because when I look at it straight on, it's kind of a coppery, reddish, uh, yellow, okay? But if I go like this on the screen, it looks kind of a peachy a color. Sometimes when I look at it straight on, it looks yellow too. So there are quite a few dupes uh, for this. So um, Celestial, it's dry, it's a little dry, okay? So here is Celestial. When I swatch it, um, it's kind of a, like a medium yellow, and when, you, when I turn my hand like this, you can see it's coppery, pinky, yellow, you know, like that. So a dupe for that, we can try you know, Prestige uh, Cosmetics, Long Term Relationship, Fierce Color Eyeshadow, and this color is Spellbound, and this is beautiful. It's, very creamy. It's a lot creamier than the Huda Beauty, but it's a little, it's lighter. See? It's more lemon yellow kind of a yellow. I found two possible dupes, so let's take a look. So one of them is um, Devotion by Kat Von D. This is an old, you know, Shade Shifter. This is the Shade Shifter series, which I love. This is actually my favorite eyeshadow of all time and it is a duochrome and so let me put it right under this is a possible dupe look at that it's a little bit a tad deeper yellow here and the one at the top is celestial the huda beauty one and here we are with uh cap on d another dupe is urban decay's sideline so sideline is less duochrome -y. you don't see the orange or peach reflex as much as the Kat Von D Devotion. Um, and the Huda Beauty is grainier. It's gl more glittery than the other two. Okay, so here they are. And I love all these colors, I must say. See, the sideline one is a little bit greenier, has more green. The middle one, which is the um, Devotion, has more peach than the sideline. And the Huda Beauty is more coppery, but they all have a base of yellow. They all have copper, they all have pink, they all have green, but just in varying degrees of intensity in their combination. I love duochromes. That's one of my... Next comes Nefertiti, which is a very light gold here. This is not duochrome. It is a light gold, but it has a peachy tone to it. A very slight peachy tone. 
it is grainy it's not smooth like other shadows um, I can compare it with the gold in the petite pro which is more gold it's not as peachy well I can I guess I can compare it with this champagne color from uh, the Viseart it's actually not that far off it's just more gold but it also has a hint of peach so it's quite similar to the Viseart Minx palette Minx Theory palette and it's this upper right hand shade next is Twilight everybody who has made a tutorial about this palette has used Twilight that's what I've seen so Twilight is actually a dual chrome of lavender pink and blue and it is however there are so many dupes for this color very similar let's see if the Urban Decay Spectrum palette the color right here called Omen might be very similar it's very similar but it's more lavender more purple purple haze by Luxy this one slightly more lavender but more or less the same black light by makeup geek it's less pink more lavendery and smoother because on um, the dual chromes in Huda Beauty uh, in the Huda Beauty Desert Dust palette are more grainy and glittery so this is smoother more purpley so it's more similar to uh, this one right here the um, Luxie Beauty purple haze is more similar but still you can see they're all very much and the more recent palette that we can compare it to is Zuba. I mean, uh, is uh, this magic palette by Julia's Place. Here it is, right here, Zuba. I mean, not Zuba, Faso. The name right below, Faso, like Burkina Faso, Faso. But it is, again, more lavender. So I guess there's not really an exact dupe. All of the dupes are more on the lavender side as opposed to the pink side. And um, the Huda Beauty Time, Time, what's it called? Time something. Twilight. The Huda Beauty Twilight is more pinky. But you can see that the colors are very, very similar. Dupe for um, Twilight. Betrayal from a Vice 2, Urban Decay. The next color is Amethyst. Orchid Purple or an orchid pinkish purple. First is a very obvious comparison, which is Urban Decay Bittersweet Blush, see? But as a blush, because it's a blush, it's very much lighter. So it's not really, see, that's the darkest, but it's very similar in tone. So that's what I did today in my look today. I used this Bittersweet as my blush for uh, my look. Another would be something I can find or that I found in my Morphe Color Glam palette. And this is the color right in the center here. And this is more pink. So I really don't have an exact dupe. And I have La Femme, this purple blush, which, you know, La Femme is not really that much of a, it's not really like a household name. This is called Mulberry that I bought on eBay. It's more pink, so it's not a dupe. For makeup, I mean, I'm sorry, from Luxy. It's on, on screen, it looks more purple in the viewfinder. And then Royal is a very common color too. See? You can find these in this color in many, many, many palettes. Here's a similar color, Merlot from the Mega Pro, Lorac Mega Pro, the original one. It's actually darker and not a dupe. I'm sorry to say it's a lot darker, although it may look the same. This might be the closest dupe that I have right by here, my knuckle here. This is from the Sephora Pantone color of the year. Um, the color was Orchid, Radiant Orchid. But it's not the same. It doesn't have the depth of this Huda Beauty one. It's gleamier, shinier and a little bit lighter. Next is Retrograde, one of my, the colors that I love. I love duochrome, so here's Retrograde here. 
So this is very grainy, you know, as with all of her duochrome shadows. It's more glittery, it's grainier. So it is a combination of teal and pink with uh, pink, I mean with green reflex. It's more a, it's a combination of a green and pink or teal, green, and pink with teal reflex. This is more, this is it On the Road by Kat Von D. It's a shade shifter shadow. So this is more of a green and brown. Green, brown, and maroon, which is, this is more similar to the Comfort Zone by Wet n Wild. Good dupe, I think, is Solstice by Urban Decay. What do you think? It's grainy also. It's similar, but the Solstice for Urban Decay has more of a lavender reflect. The lavender reflect is more prominent than the green reflect. See, both of them have green, right? You can see, or teal. See, but the one here is the Urban Decay, and the one here is the Huda Beauty. This is the closest dupe, and I use that in my eye look today. Next is Cashmere which I also use in my eye look today. So Cashmere is a taupey champagne, and this particular one has a hint of peach. I want to compare it to this color, this middle color in the Viseart Theory palette. This is the Cashmere palette. Very similar, but the Huda Beauty has a little bit more pink in it. But it's very similar. I think you can use it interchangeably and nobody would ever know. What about over here in the Petite Pro? There's this color right here in the corner. Yeah, same thing, very similar. Very similar to the cashmere one in the cashmere palette by Viseart. So they are, I think, the passes dupes, I think. Crush, this Crush by Luxy. Very similar, almost the same. Crush by Luxy. This is Penny Lane, also by Luxy. This one is a little bit, bit more coppery. The Chroma palette, let's try this color. Cooler, no pink, no hint of pink because the Huda Beauty has a hint of pink. Light bronze from the um, Lorac Pro One. This is the Lorac Pro One. Light bronze, also a dupe. Angelic. The next color in the Huda Beauty is Angelic. It is a duochrome, and it is a combination of yellow, peach, yellow, peach, and pink, but with more of the peachy part uh, dominating the mix. And there are dupes for this. Here is Wildfire by Makeup Geek. And you know, this color Wildfire, they never really released it as a um, shadow. They released it as a pigment. And then like for two weeks, they released it as a shadow and it sold out right away. So this is, I think, a perfect dupe. So if you have the pigment, you know, it is a perfect dupe for um, Huda Beauty's Angelic. Here is Zuba from the Magic Palette by um, Julia's Place here. And I think this is more pink. It does have some duochrome properties to it, but it's more on the pink side. It just occurred to me, I was looking at the old Huda Beauty palette and Angelic is right there too. See? And it's exactly the same if that's a dupe from the old palette. Angelic. Next, we've got Cosmo, which is a glitter shade, and it's very grainy, as you can see. And it has some um, bold and green reflex in it. I guess I can compare it to uh, Makeup Geek Vegas License. Let's see. So this is more of a straight color, not really glitter. And if I compare it to Jessie's Girl Indian Summer, it's not the same. It's yellow, more yellow. Turkish Delight. Lots of dupes for this. Let's try this from the Busy Art. It's more plum. Okay, let's try Sonic from the Vice 3. This, this color right here. A little bit darker, but pretty much the same. So that's our dupe, Sonic from the Vice 3. Let's try this color 
from the Minx palette, and it is a lot more subdued, so of course that's not a dupe. I just discovered Fling in the Rose Gold palette, the original palette, and Fling is creamier and a little bit more pink, but more or less they're the same. Next is Saffron. And I love using this color. I used this the other day for my outer corner or, or my um, crease color. It looked really beautiful because I wanted a look that was really red. And I used that color. Now I want to compare it to the other Huda Beauty um, palette, Man Eater. She also has a red here. And let me try and compare that. It's a darker red, but very similar. Um, in the Sephora Pantone Universe. Uh, this is the next one that came after the Radiant Orchid. This is the Marsala, Marsala palette. Um, these up two up here, I'll swatch these two up here. This one right here, Marsala Sat uh, Satin is more or less the same. Marsala Matte is a little bit darker, but not really that noticeable. So they are dupes. Here are another two colors. Marsala Metallic and Marsala Glitter that are very, there are dupes for the Turkish Delight. So you can see them all down here. So here is um, Marsala Glitter and the one up here now is Marsala Satin. They are all dupes for Turkish Delight. Here is um, Fling from the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette. So they are the same. And the last color, which is blazing, we've already covered. So what do I think about the palette? The palette is, I love the palette, okay? I think it's a really good palette, but it is not a perfect palette. First of all, um, the colors are beautiful. The color combinations are beautiful, okay? And you can do a, a cool look and a warm look, and I did a cool look today. Um, but the problem is the dual chrome colors and the uh, shimmery colors are dry. The formula is quite dry. They are not creamy. Um, it doesn't detract from, I think, well, I guess it kind of detracts from the application. You know, it's not as smooth. It's a little grainy, powdery kind of. And um, the I haven't used the Cosmo. I want to try and use that and uh, make, maybe make a tutorial using Cosmo. Um, everybody has reviled Cosmo. They don't like it, um, but I want to try and use it. That's the only color I haven't really used on my eyes. I've used every other, every color on, in this palette. And so I think, um, except for Cosmo, that's the only color I can't really comment on. You can see from the swatches that the glitter is kind of uh, grainy. It's not smooth, but maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Um, that was how it was meant to be. Um, and so, the Twilight, um, yesterday I used Twilight um, on my lower lashes and um, I cried last, uh, yesterday and it washed away really fast. It didn't even have any staying power. The oranges and the reds, they had staying power. Um, I applied them, let's say, at around 9 o'clock in the morning and at around 11 o'clock at, I'm sorry, maybe even 12 midnight, the colors were still very intense. They were still in place. They it still looked beautiful. So I guess it's a very mixed bag. Retrograde is also very grainy. So all the dual chrome, Celestial, Retrograde, and Twilight, and of course the glitter called Cosmo are very grainy. The um, the shimmery colors like Turkish Delight, Royal Blood Moon, Angelic Cashmere, um, and Nefertiti are kind of soft. They have the same texture as um, Lorac, the Lorac shadows. Um, they're okay. Uh, the mattes are very, very nice. Although, as I was saying, Oud is the darkest color in the palette. And many times in the, maybe I've used this palette maybe four or five times. In five, in all of the five times that I've used it, maybe, maybe four, Four times out of the five, I had to go to another palette to get a darker brown or a black to help um, put some contrast into my look. Um, and so how would I rate this? How would I rate this palette? I would rate this maybe as an eight. 
I love it. I really, really like it. And even if I already have dupes in other palettes or I have single shadows that are dupes or very similar to it, um, I still don't regret getting this palette. I still like it. And so um, if you would like to see how I achieve this cool look uh, using this palette, then please keep watching.